Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. We have 2 times the square root of x divided by square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 5 plus the square root of 5. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to make a common denominator. So 2 root 6 divided by root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5 plus root 5 multiplied by the common denominator and divided by that. So now, since we have a common denominator, we can just go ahead and simplify and add the numerators. We get 2 times root 6 plus, we're going to go ahead and distribute here, root 10 plus root 15 plus 5. Okay? And then that is going to be divided by, that's going to be divided by root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5. Awesome. So you got this expression, what do you do with that, right? So there's a couple of ways to go about it. The second method is going to talk about that specifically, so let's not do that. What is that? You'll see it in the second method. So we're going to do the following. Can we do long division? These are radicals, so we could probably do something like this maybe, like use substitution. Uh, maybe set the square root of 2 equal to a and square root of 3 equal to b and the square root of th uh, 5 equal to c and then kind of express the top, so on and so forth. That'll be a little harder. I haven't tried it, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break down the numerator. So 2 root 6, I'm going to write it as root 6 plus, plus root 6. Root 10, I'm going to break it down, but let me go ahead and write it out first, root 15. And 5, I'm going to break it down into 3 plus 2. Now, why do I do this? I want to make the numerator factorable. And I want to factor by grouping, but as is, it's not factorable. So I want to kind of split up the terms to see if I can make good groups. Since I have six terms in the numerator, I, I can either make two groups of three or three groups of two. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break down, and the reason why I broke down the 5 into 3 and 2, because I uh, noticed that my expressions contain either a root 3 or a root 2 uh, in their prime factorization. Make sense? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to break down each of these now. For example, square root of 6 can be written as root 3 times root 2. Same thing here. And then root 10 can be written as root 2 times root 5. Root 15 can be written as root 3 times root 5. 3 can be written as root 3 times itself. And root 2 times root 2. Okay, great. So that's the breakdown. And let's go ahead and do the same thing here. I mean, the denominator is just going to stay the same. That's what I was trying to say. Now, what are we going to do with this confusing expression, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to split it into two groups. And I want to make two groups of three. Most of the time, if uh, three groups of two work, uh, two groups of three will also work, I think. Anyways, so here's my terms for the first group. I'm going to pick this one, and then I'm going to pick this one, and then I'd like to pick this one. Notice that all three of these terms, they all contain root three. So that's important. When you're picking terms uh, for grouping by factoring, you want to make sure that they have a common factor. Otherwise, there's no point. And notice that the rest uh, has the same type of feature so that we can safely say, hey, uh, we have root 2 in common, root 2 in common, and root 2 in common. So that's good. Let's go ahead and proceed. So we're going to have uh, the first three terms. What is the common factor? It is root 3. So let's take it out. We're going to get root 2 plus root 5 plus root 3. And everything else has root 2 as a common factor. And this gives us root 3 plus root 5 plus root 2. And then the whole thing is going to be divided by root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5. Awesome. Now, notice that the expressions inside the parentheses are the same. So that is a common factor, this and this. So we can take it out. What is it? Root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5. So if you take that out, you end up with root 3 plus root 2. And that is going to be divided by 
root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5. What happens here? Root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5 cancel out, leaving us with root 3 plus root 2 as the simplest form of the answer. Make sense? Okay, that is the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So my first method involved making a common denominator and then involving or breaking down the numerator so that it's factorable by grouping, which is not very straightforward. And obviously, after I do the second method, you're going to realize if you know the second method, you can come up with the first method. So that's what's really cool about that. So what is the original problem? Let's rewrite it. 2 root 6 divided by root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5. And then root 5 added to this. So hopefully we're going to get the same answer. The answer was root 3 plus root 2. Let's see what happens. So here's what I'm going to do here differently. I will use the conjugate. So what is the conjugate for the denominator? So I, in other words, I'm trying to rationalize the denominator, get rid of the square roots. But there are three terms. If I have square root of x plus square root of y in the denominator, I do know that I need to multiply by root x minus root 7, right? So that is what I need to do. But when there are three terms, I kind of have to group two of the terms together. So now I can do the following. I can multiply this expression by root 2 plus root 3, so taken as a whole, minus root 5, divided by root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5, and again, these two make a group, multiply by root 2 plus root 3 minus root 5. Hopefully, by using parentheses, it's easier to see how they're grouped and how they're conjugates. So root 5, I'm going to leave it alone for now because I want to take care of this first piece first. Now, when you multiply these two things from difference of two squares, you're going to get something nice. Let me explain that a little bit, but let's write the denom uh, numerator first. At the bottom, you're going to be multiplying something that looks like a plus b times a minus b. And that is equal to a squared minus b squared from difference of two squares. So this is equal to root 2 plus root 3 squared minus root 5 squared. But that is 2 plus 3 plus 2 root 6 minus 5, 2 plus 3, 3 is 5, and you end up with 2 root 6 at the bottom, which is awesome, right? Because 2 root 6 now is going to cancel out. So that's what I got by using difference of two squares. They cancel out, and I end up with the following. Root 2 plus root 3 minus root 5 plus root 5, and the negative root 5 and the positive root 5 cancel out and leaving us with root 2 plus root 3 as the answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. Don't forget to watch the shorts. And bye-bye.